Oh yeah, that's right. I've made it back to civilization, baby. As you might be able to tell, I have spent several days in the bush with the boys from Abyss Dredging, and I have had a cracking time. Yeah, pretty cracking time. <laughs> and whilst I cannot wait to share these adventures with you, I've got a couple of very important things to talk about. First of all, I, um, I've been dodging bullets left, right, and center on this trip. Somehow I managed to miss getting COVID from Paulie, and I spent three days in a hotel room just like this with him in close quarters. That's a toilet. That's a luxury I didn't have for a whole week in the bush, and I managed to get bit on the nether regions by a certain biting fly. It's all better if you're wondering. I then very narrowly managed to miss getting swept away in a rainstorm in a one-way valley with sheer cliff walls that I had to backtrack in freezing waist-deep water. But that's another story that you'll see next month when I edit the video. This might seem minor, but I've gone a whole week without good coffee. That's not to say that Darren and Rex's coffee wasn't good, it's just that I bought that Nespresso machine just before I left and now I'm just jaded. <laughs> I filled three 32 gig memory cards with this. Which isn't the bullet, but I was working with a professional film crew. Oh yeah, there's a story there. And lastly and most importantly, I came out of the bush after seven days of no reception to discover that Auckland is in a state of emergency and that's the airport I'm meant to be leaving from tomorrow. Luckily for me, I flew into Nelson, so I was able to rearrange some of my flights, got to fly out two days later, but at the very least, I'm not going to be stuck in a soggy airport. And if you are in Auckland at the moment, my heart goes out to you because that was a really extreme weather event. So I hope you're safe, I hope you're well, and nothing bad has happened to you, your family, or your property. And now I'm left for the question of what I do in Christchurch for a couple of days. I don't have any gold pans, no metal detectors. I don't know what's there. I'm on a really tight budget because I had to spend about $2,000 just to get these flights out of the country and back home. So if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read over them and I'd love to get a feel for what could be possible out there. I guess that's a cautionary tale. If you get a free business class upgrade on the way over, perhaps things are going to go a bit screwy at the end.